Hey, morning folks and happy hump day. Uh, hope everyone's doing all right. So just a really quick one today actually because it's pretty apparent what's happening I reckon. Uh, number one as we can see here year of futures new low for the year just totally gave up that uh, basically triple bottom now. Uh, same thing as we can see actually the Aussie's not doing too bad con you know all things considered does not look like this these are all daily charts so and but gold cementing that new low for the year this was that prior low here uh, we've tested last Friday and then just dipped below like no one's business uh, so if we go further lower you know the real next level to be tested would potentially be the 1750s level uh, and that gas I mentioned yesterday with that trend line over there we are now firmly trading below uh, goes to see today whether or not we are able to reclaim this trend line if not then potentially head further down is speaking of nat gas and this was you know as I mentioned yesterday the IEA put out a report and it's not just the IEA uh, you know with inflation being of main concern and hiking you know the Fed hiking and all these things coming into play it's just a really bearish uh, what do you call the scenario on the macro backdrop for energy really um, so speaking of nat gas this happened on crude yesterday so we plummeted that is a very big red candle you know nothing like this but pretty pretty similar you know going into a tight supply market you know this was a big big move and it was pretty uh, how do you say this it was very consistent very concerted from sellers uh, yesterday buyers were just not able to hold uh, the line basically and I did talk about this hundred dollar mark being of importance and which is you know where we are currently just faffling about right now really and uh, you know if we do go back for a test of 98 I do think you know seeing as this is the you know pricing in off this bad boy over here <laughs> what I said yesterday uh, will we get a new high for the year on the Dixie you know because it did seem like every month we make a new high and you know there you go we didn't just make a new high we make a new high so just a bit of uh, storing over here will we'll continue further I would think you know pullback would be necessary before this continues to go on I feel um, unless you know something else happens or you know this is you know if this continues on without pulling back then definitely I do see today's trade being highly dollar driven um, we might see further uh, basically lows on gold but what's really interesting here is you know gold would potentially have a hard time staying down there and we could get huge ranges traded because T notes are actually doing quite well look at that so yields have dropped we are now back testing this multi-month well not testing yet we're about to so multi-month resistance over here uh, you know a bit of rebound on spoos we tested and now it's apparent here this level 37 43 spot 32s there and thereabouts you know you know, if you think about it yeah pretty much in line with this low over here the low of the 13th of June um, holding above 3800 handle for the time being but it's very clear there's a lot of buying uh, coming in from this area here so if it does go back down you know potentially we could see that buying come through do note that we are still trading below uh, this you know prior support trend line and I would think you know this area in the gap here you know trading below this uh, support trend line if it stays below the support trend line by the time it goes for the uh, gap test there could be quite a you know a bit of a tussle between buyers and sellers over there I feel you know so which side wins could potentially be the deciding factor then you know technically speaking PA speaking to bring us up or down but if this low breaks today 
I would think a short would be warranted. If it's not from here, we might get a bit of, uh, what do you call this, uh, profit taking before we retest 3800s and then continue on potentially. Um, all right, so that is it for me. Do I think crude can go lower? Definitely, why not? Do I think it can close higher today? Yeah, definitely, you never know. If OPEC just comes through saying some stuff, you know, I uh, just, but all in all, I think we are due for a bit of a pullback, you know, potentially try to um, establish a new uh, range of value for today. Uh, these whole numbers, obviously, you know, being really important prior levels that could, so 100 bucks. So will we stay above or below 100 bucks right now is, uh, is what I want to know. Um, that is about charts if you ask me uh what would you want to do today i would look for retests of the these prior broken support levels to then get short if i'm being honest uh the yen due to you know its haven status it it's finally acting like a haven right now so i hope that was useful any questions at all hit me up in the comments i will see you guys in the discord room and have a great session ahead this is reed bringing you today's daily briefing cheers <laughs>